Okay, so I you missed... almost got kidnapped by an eagle, and then <laughs> <laughs> I well, was fun. like, "Well, have you seen Blue Waffle Melding?" No, it's <gasps> t-shirt off, and he had a cut from the base of his neck all the way down his chest to his sternum. It... He tries to downplay it, but meanwhile, like I am underwater, like trapped in rocks. And there's like, it's at the point where there's like pushing, water pushing me down. Oh like there's God. no like let up. Can I borrow you? And I'm like sweating profusely oh. because this is the first time I've ever got in trouble. Not necessarily like that I didn't deserve it before <laughs> earlier, but like this is the first time it was caught, cool, right? Mm -hmm. No one's looking. The podcast where you can say whatever, whatever the fuck, fuck you want. want. I'm your host, Melanie. And I'm your host, Maggie. And today we have a guest, Freya, with us. Woo! No, let's raise the fucking roof, people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, strong start. <laughs> Coming in strong, finishing weak. <laughs> I don't know, I think it'll finish off even stronger. Oh my yeah. god, wow, mm. please don't set me up for a fall. <laughs> <laughs> um, Freya is one of my partner Brody's uh, school friends. You guys have yeah. been friends since like, what, like 10 or something? I don't know. I just yeah, assume like 10 like years old. 13? Yeah, mm. that's cool. Yeah. That's super young. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's oh so cute. Gosh. Yeah, I think he's like one of the first people I met as well at school. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah. yeah. And then we've met, obviously, through Brody. Obviously. And obviously, <laughs> we met before. <laughs> we've actually met since we were like 11. <laughs> <laughs> 11. You Imagine that would be a weird coincidence. Yeah. yeah I think so. <laughs> but also something really beautiful. <laughs> Um, and yeah, you're going to share some stories about mm -hmm. um, times in your young adult life where you've been very accident prone, like very, very yeah, accident or, prone. Or, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I prefer personally the risk taking yeah. Uh, yeah, rather than accident prone. Accident. I feel like that's like really shitting my brain. <laughs> <laughs> just had a lot of accidents happen. Yeah, she just can't help herself. She's so fucking clumsy. She Such a tripped clutch. down the stairs Whereas again. I prefer like I'm on the, like I'm taking risks, you know, like I'm really embracing like the thrill seeking side yeah. of life. No, I like that. What were you yeah. known for? Were you known for being clumsy or were you known as a risk taker um interestingly neither like i think i was just <laughs> i wasn't actually like I wasn't expecting that yeah. i mean like i don't think people really thought too much about it yeah um, that's it you know you start to get a reputation even when you're a child like people kind of observe yeah. you and they're like damn yeah. she drops everything or you no know. so i was really good at not dropping things i don't think i'm like <laughs> <laughs> that's good, actually that's on good. my cv <laughs> I'm, that, I'm curious to hear your stories then. Yeah. I want to um, hear how you were actually... Fortunately came. for me, like, no one really witnessed them, like, other than my parents. Um, yeah, I mean, speak, looking back at them now and speaking to them with, like, about them with friends, I think uh, it's quite entertaining because people are like, whoa. I can't believe that. You're an idiot. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, actually, past Freya was an idiot. Yeah. Present Freya is a genius. Yeah. yeah. And still yeah. taking She's risks. learned her lesson. Yeah, I live life on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Um, so the theme <laughs> of this season is framing around childhood. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah. So where are you from? Where were you born? I was born in Huddersfield, Huddersfield. in Yorkshire. No, Huddersfield. <laughs> Hudders. Huddersfield. So like Udder, but with a H. Oh, Hudder. <laughs> yeah. No, we're Huddersfield. Hudders. Huddersfield. I'm not even going to go down this rabbit hole with you mm -hmm. about like American pronunciations. <laughs> oh God. Yes. Yeah, so I was born in Huddersfield, Yorkshire, and. Neither of my parents are from Yorkshire, so um, actually I feel like that's a really wrong place to start. My parents are both doctors, and <laughs> in the in the beginning, in the beginning, before, before FD, <laughs> BFD, um, and basically they like went to Glasgow Uni. They're both Scottish because oh, I think that's like oh. really important to understand a bit. Yeah, yeah, and like they're both Scottish. My mum's Glaswegian. My mum's like my dad's from an area in Scotland called Clackmannanshire, and. Ooh. 
All right. Don't even get me started on that one. No, I won't. Ooh, that's a big word. Um, and yeah, so they went to uni, met in Glasgow Uni, um, both became doctors, and then they were basically hunting for the same hospital to work in because they were in different departments. How, what's your What's your relationship like with your parents? Really good. Um, we're a very close family. Um, nice. Yeah, we have a lot of like, like we. I think my mum's very gutter humour. Me and my dad, like, well, my dad's very dark sense of humour. So I kind of like, I think me and my brother are quite fortunate that we like have had both sense of cool. humour. Like, um, you know, there's no, like, we kind of have a broad range of what we find funny. So yeah, like, there's a lot of hilarity in my family. Um, but yeah, it's really cool. Like, my parents are really like different um, from each other. Um, my mum's super hippie. My dad went at uni, like, he was quite modish. Like, he would wear like all black. And he had an upside down crucifix as an earring. Really? Yeah, little legend. That's so cool. Does he have pictures? Um, he he was a vampire. He didn't take photos. <laughs> <laughs> vampire doctor. Um, it was actually so funny because the story that they tell me is that when they first properly met, is like they were at, and it's actually really funny. Like when my parents describe it, because my mum she still has some bitter like rage in there, <laughs> but they basically were in the same year um, at uni, and they were like went into a, like a, I don't know, like a morgue, I think. And there was like a cadaver on the table. Because mm, they're doctors. Sorry, I was like, why are they in a morgue? <laughs> Date night. Date, Date night. night. <laughs> Date night, couple of candles, yeah. dead body, <laughs> or a red wine. Ideal. deal. Yeah. <laughs> Shove the body off the bed, shag. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Um, so no, they were at like, and my dad was like standing at the back of the room. And my mum describes it that he was like against a radiator wearing this all black with like this upside down crucifix, like ginger hair, like he's ginger. And he was just kind of like, obviously like, I don't give a fuck being here. And then the rest of the class were like gathered around, like, you know, little kind of prissy, like class, like type A type people, cause they're all doctors, right? All standing around and my mum is one of them. And she was like a hippie, but a nerd. And she was like watching like the, all this thing. And she was like very into it. And then the, um, lecturer asked some questions and he goes round and he my mum says he was a cunt you're allowed to say okay you can say whatever the I'm fuck like, you want you've actually I was, been swearing this whole time i know but <laughs> cunt's offensive mm, only in uh, maybe america. not on this podcast okay. i'm nothing. like i'm pretty sure only in america okay. no, in uh, america i feel like it's more funny when i say it out here people get properly offended really weird yeah yeah i don't mm. understand it because i think it's I a funny word either. but yeah i just yeah, yeah i no, don't know <laughs> You're, anyway, you're, you're mom, sorry. <laughs> and um, yeah, so this guy was a dickhead and basically he would go around and like, like stay at you and I like, ask you a question. And I remember my mum still, which makes me laugh the most, it's been like almost 30 years since this happened. And my mum still remembers the exact question that he asked. I cannot say it because it was like a medical word and I gently can't pronounce that mm. shit. And he asked her like, what are the like, you know, the five symptoms or um like treatments for the ex and my mum was like um <laughs> and like just I think um <laughs> and like genuine stage fright and she was like s like slowly kind of trudged her way through at least three of them and then like he was like you know there's two more oh. and she was like a bit like um and then my dad they've not spoken at all my dad just kind of like steps up kind of and he's like, Lazily. and he's like, it's this and this. And then kind of like slugs back. And the guy's like, thank you, Colin. Thank you, Colin, for showing up. I'm <gasps> eyeballing my mum. And my mum just was like, we will never be friends. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. That's like so movie-esque, like yeah. rom-com. Yeah. That's really like, cute. The dickhead, in the nerdy girl. Yeah. Yeah. But she did say that she now kind of says uh, quite openly that like, in that moment, she was very attracted to my dad. Fair. Dominance. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. He was like, oh, it's just yeah. this, this and this. Yeah. This and this. He also, Thanks what's so sure funny is like, she remembers the question, he remembers the answer. Just That's goes to funny. fucking show, doesn't it? Men yeah. are trash. <laughs> Men are trash. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's how they met, super different, um, really like funny, different in like a lot of weird ways. And that's why I think me and my brother are quite like weirdly, like we're always, a li we're just basically a big like hypocrisy. We're very different in like, mm -hmm. um, but we have it within us, like our different personalities. Yeah. Yeah. A broad spectrum, 
dickhead nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Mix a real together. range. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... That's really sweet. Mm. And you guys are really close, you and your Super parents. close, yeah. Yeah. Super close. Um, yeah, they're just really class people. I think if I met them in a bar, I would be friends with them. That's yeah. so That's nice. nice. There hasn't been a single person who have met my parents who said that they're not, like, really funny and, like, great. Really? Yeah. When I... I had like I have a best friend from school. Um, shout out Ellie Kauser. <laughs> <laughs> shout out. Um, and she came round. She used to live near my house, and she came round and um, uh, we watched Step Brothers with my parents for the first time. And like <laughs> genuinely, like when the nuts hit the drum set, like the drum set, like, <laughs> watching it with my like mum, dad, Ellie, and my brother, and like Ellie just feeling comfortable enough to like find it fucking hilarious yeah, without being like true. weird. Like, I think it's a real testament to, like, the kind of weirdos my parents are. That's so fun. That's that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I've I've definitely watched that movie, but I don't remember. <laughs> Do I you not like the little think. kind of display that I did as well? The, yeah, I know, he does. That, he I does like, I'm like, I've really tried. I, wish I, I just, yeah. I wish I remember what it was like in the movie. Yeah, it was pretty gross. Oh, it's yeah. so funny. Yeah, though. it was hilarious, but it was pretty realistic. Yeah. <laughs> cleanly, cleanly shaven, I must say. Yeah, they were and like considering fresh balls. Got, yeah, considering he's <laughs> like very fucking hairy. Like, yeah, <laughs> but, super cleanly. Yeah, honestly, yeah. I love how we both think about that. Yeah, yeah, I think it's quite important because mm. I cannot get that image out of my head. Yeah, and I'm it literally now ingrained. like replaying it's it like in my barrel balls. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, and the licking the white dog shit. Oh, that's the funniest. Mm. We need to watch it because you will actually think it's hilarious. Yeah. Um. Anyways. <laughs> so um you went to Dollar when mm-hmm. you were 12 and that's when or 12 13 when yeah, you Yeah, I can't Brody? remember specifically, yeah. And what was the difference like between schools? As in, oh, so let's be frank here. Dollar were full of assholes. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be around this. Um <laughs> a lot of like really great people really enjoyed the school, like definitely have like a lot of friends from it but I think we can all collectively say that we are a bunch of arseholes <laughs> um, for differing reasons of course yeah. but yeah I mean like <laughs> I mean I think I'd be fucking lying if I said like we're actually really sound money doesn't define us <laughs> I mean what can I say yeah like absolutely like the it's like the the, the school is in a, a, a village that's super pretentious like you know I mean there's it's really picturesque, but fuck me. Like, is it necessary to have cherry blossoms around, like, a burn? Like, burn <laughs> for you guys that don't understand a river in Scotland. <laughs> Looking at you. I yeah. was like, it's still funny. Yeah. yeah so it's, it's funny. so fucking, like, it's just like, you know. I want to see it. Yeah. There was, like, a deli. We went to a deli for lunch. No. Yeah, a deli. Cold cuts. Did you wear capes? Um, no, but we wore kilts. <laughs> really? Yeah. Did they make oh. you wear skirts? Kilts. That's, oh, well. Yeah. For, uh, so yeah. girls wore kilts, guys wore trousers and blazers. But we all wore blazers fair. as well. No, I would want to wear trousers. That would piss me off. Um, you kind of come down, like, yeah. it comes to it, like, it's fine. Yeah, no. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like, and also, even when it was, like, bollock cold, right, and, like, snowing and everything, you still had to wear that fucking kilt. That's I, ridiculous. I had, I think at that's one so point, I had like okay. four layers of tights on. My thighs, <laughs> like, like beyond just touching, they yeah. were like merging into like one. Yeah, that's because so of all the tights. Oh yeah, and it was like, yeah, it was fine. So but like, that's like a private school thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah we have to. Not only do we have to talk like knobs, but we have to look like knobs. <laughs> <laughs> we need to have a proper like target on our back. You know, because it's not already fucking hard walking around Scotland looking like a tits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... With a blazer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking, like, honestly. But everyone knew, like, everyone in that part of Scotland knew that you were rent to dollar. And, like, I think, um, for the most part, people were, like, just whatever. Like, it is what it is, mm. you know. But um, there were definitely some, like, dickheads that were, like, you don't belong. Capitalist fuck. <laughs> Really? Yeah. It's like, um, Obviously, my... they weren't like intellectual enough to say capitalist fuck at that yeah. point. <laughs> Nothing against like people who went to Alpha Academy, but we were like 12. So, like, you don't know what capitalism is at that age. <laughs> That's so sad. Mm. I hate some children. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Some children, because some are nice. Yeah. We always, I, we, why do we always eyeball <laughs> Mel when we say that? I like don't even like think about it because yeah. I just know my kids are on a different level. Okay. <laughs> You fucking idiots. 
So when was the first time you took your risk? <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. When oh you... my God, I love going back to these days. So, as a baby. I was going to say, I was going to say the first risk you took was being born. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that was a death sentence. No, 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 no. That was the beginning of my, of my omnibus of a book. <laughs> yeah. The Chronicles of Freya. Um, <laughs> say the next one, still <laughs> nowhere near the car crash. The next one was my 16th birthday. Actually, this is harrowing. So I would like to have a trigger warning for anyone who's been whitewater rafting and it's not mm. turned out well. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, what the fuck? Like, right. So there's <laughs> like genuinely, my, every time I bring it, my parents are so like trying to hush hush this. Like if I bring it up, like they're like, don't, don't recall. <laughs> And then they'll like, oh, we, yeah. There. They're like, um, yeah. But then a few drinks in, they'll be like, yeah, that was fucking bad. We almost lost you. <laughs> oh my god, what happened? Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, this is when I'm in Scotland. So I went up to somewhere near Aviemore, which is up north, and we went white world rafting for my 16th birthday. Really great gift idea. Would recommend. A few conditions. Safely. Yeah. Would recommend. <laughs> safely um and yeah so basically uh the guy who was taking us out on the boat like i think it had been like heavy raining for the last week um oh shit yes thank you <laughs> yeah you know where this is going yeah. <laughs> um it had been like raining really heavy for the last week and like the guy he was animated and like energetic and like we were all like you know class but he was very chatty and we were a bit like mm, okay right fine whatever and we put on our life jackets got out it was like very calm at the beginning and um he was continued to keep like chatting a little bit and then like had like brought out like a snickers bar like started munching on that and stuff and you know there was a lot of red flags right yeah and um i was a bit like this is a bit weird and then also like my dad had kind of said to my mom previously which i only found out after the fact but he was like he smells of alcohol oh, <laughs> oh shit. yeah and he did oh, stink no. and like um i didn't really notice it because i was like me 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 it's my 16th birthday don't yeah. give a fuck me and like i then basically was sitting behind my dad and my mom was like like uh beside my dad and then the guy was like bes like behind me, but I was like at the back with like, I think maybe just by myself or with someone else. I mean, I, don't, I can't really remember. 50, um, 50 percent. <laughs> yeah, I, I would say 60 to 40. I was by myself and everyone was having a lot of fun. The guy was very good at like getting a lot of energy going. He had some kind of weird like um, big paddle, but it was all fine. Like, and we were going down and it was like, really choppy um i it was really really choppy like big rocks loads of like white water like foam and stuff mm. like it was just mental and basically i'm gonna say like three minutes in i go overboard oh, no. <laughs> yeah that face says it all go overboard right and he doesn't fucking know and like then my mom like kind of screams and she's like, where's Freya? Like, and this is like maybe a minute after. And she's like to my dad, she's like, where's Freya? Like, where's Freya? And my dad's like, she's having a great time. She's having a great time. No. And my mom was like, no, where the fuck is Freya? And like, my dad turns around and he's like, Freya, <laughs> where are <laughs> oh you? Like, and then the guy like does not recognize, like remember, like he does not register that like I'm not there. So my parents have to get his attention. And then he's like, okay, fine, it's fine. And like obviously tries to downplay it. But meanwhile, like, I am underwater, like, trapped in rocks. And there's, like, it's at the point where there's, push. like, pushing, water pushing me down. Oh like, there's God. no, like, let up. Like, I can't, like, push myself away. Like, I'm in the middle of rocks and there's, like, constant water pushing down. And I remember, like, it was a minute and I can still remember the feeling, like, a minute that I was under. You were holding... Yeah, and I was like down, and I was had a life jacket on, which means the water was so aggressive I could not come up. Yeah, and he puts down a paddle and like tries to get me to like he's kind of jabbing me, Your tries eyes to get are open. Yeah, tries to get me to grab it, and I do grab it. I come up, and like I'm obviously like really out of breath, like kind of, and he's like, "You're right, you're right. You want the Snickers?" <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> <laughs> you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Do you and want Snickers? Yeah, you're right. it's half eaten, but it's alright. <laughs> so, yeah, he's like. And I was like, oh my God. And then anyway, it was fine because I'm British. I don't complain. 
So oh went all gosh. the way through it. And then I think my parents afterwards like had a little debrief and they were saying to me, they were like, yeah, like fuck, like he absolutely fucked it. Like he had no idea you had gone. He was definitely hung over, if not still slightly drunk. Like yeah. he absolutely fucked it. Um, That's so and, scary. Yeah. How did you hold your breath? Like, how did you not panic? Like, what were you, I did panic, like? but like, yeah. it's kind of like one of those feelings that I don't feel like it's kind of, it. obviously I'm remembering it probably different from how it happened. Like, yeah. it, absolute panic, I think. But also the panic kind of paralyzes you. So I don't think you're very like consciously like thinking about your breaths or anything. Like I was just like, had my eyes open trying to find a way out. Oh um, my God. Yeah. You, like. Life jackets yeah. fucking suck. What? Yeah, because I'm like... <laughs> they do not work. How could you... Oh my yeah. God, that's so yeah. terrifying. Yeah. No, that's scary. Because I've heard stories of that happening. To, well, obviously yeah. people dying in, in that way. Yeah. Like, yeah, but... Well, but what's really fucked ends. up is like literally the week after we went, someone died in that exact like river. Oh, f- they, the were they were canoeing. Well, they were canoeing. I was like, themselves. with the same fucking guy digging Yeah, they were that's canoeing. so scary. Because I think it was like um, probably quite a notorious like choppy... Yeah, and especially yeah. if it's been raining and it's, like, yeah. higher and, like, more deep. Like, yeah, you get yeah. more... Wo- like, oh, my gosh, no. That's fucking terrifying. That's so yeah. scary. I'd have been raging. Like, if well, I was your parents. They were. Um, they were definitely angry, but, like, they... Like, I think it's kind of, like... Your birthday, and they didn't want to, like, ruin yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, they didn't want no, to did it. No, did they say anything to, like, um, the company or... No, we're British. We don't complain. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I just, yeah, I, I do remember it being like, like pretty traumatic, but to be honest, it shaped me. <laughs> shaped me. Was your brother there as well? Or was it just Yeah, he was useless. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking useless. He was just like, oh, I have that Snickers fro. Can you half it with me? He was like, <laughs> like choking Throwing up, like, up water. Yeah. <laughs> so can you fucking give me a minute, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. so scary. What the no. fuck? I know. That's fucked up. I know. It's mental. Did, yeah. did you gulp water? Like, did you... I cannot remember, but I, I definitely... I didn't come out dry, like, or, like, <laughs> breathing. <laughs> Imagine if you were, like, you get out and you're fucking dry. Oh. I, was, I was in peace. I was really I'm actually really pissed off you got me out. I was actually in an air bubble. <laughs> yeah. I, was, <laughs> I was actually enjoying that. What the yeah. fuck? You burst my bubble. mental. <laughs> Sorry. Imagine time. if you went to, like, if there was, like, a cave behind it or something, if it, like, pushed you out into a different yeah. fucking Narnia Like a Narnia. Narnia. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. No. Never saw your family again. Yeah, go In, on, then. Intermission. Oof. So, you're 16. Uh-huh. You almost drown. But you survive. What yes. happens So next? you take your next risk. <laughs> <laughs> you you little risk. Yeah, taker. I mean my calm my calm podcast should be like I'm Freja and I will take you through the risks of my life. <laughs> There's not enough hours of the day <laughs> for me to describe. Yeah. This will be a, a, a week long podcast. <laughs> um the next one was the car crash. We're finally there. Oof. Lead us up to the day. What, um, what were you th- being like? What were you thinking? What is were that, you thinking? It's actually like... <laughs> what the fuck what were you, you thinking? thinking? <laughs> Getting yourself hit by a car. You, you risk taker. I know exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Danger. <laughs> I like it. It's yeah. a risk. I see a red light and I go straight through. <laughs> I go straight um, Honestly, probably fucking nothing. I think it was on my phone. Um... Yeah, I mean, I was 16 or 17, ironically the age that I should have been driving, but I didn't mm. learn to drive. A little shout out for me. Have I you, passed my know? theory last week. Oh, good oh, on you. That's good. Well done. Melanie's going to take me skirt skirt um, this weekend. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's so exciting. In her little mum. I'm going to show it at you. Mum, mum, like what, what are those like, passenger vans? <laughs> Oh. The mummy vans. Yeah, I would love one of those. To be fair, yeah, so much space. A lot of sliding doors. <laughs> yeah. Me, yeah, in the back. Yeah, pretending to drive. <laughs> Sorry, you have to envision yourself driving before you can actually manifest it first. <laughs> You're so American. It You're hurts. almost there, <laughs> sweetie. I want to manifest Melanie letting me drive this yeah. car. <laughs> no. I definitely feel like that's like some kind of skit of a movie where he's like. Feel the energy before you touch the energy. <laughs> Some kind of American bullshit. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, so I hadn't uh, passed my driving test. So, yeah, this is probably karma. But I actually, pause. 
I hadn't sat my driving test. I'm not a failure. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't that I sat it and failed. I just didn't sit it. And then anyway, so I was going to the shop um, in Scotland at my home, in my hometown. And uh, I can't really remember. I think I was going to buy ice cream and tea bags. And not that that's important. <laughs> that's all no, I, want, I want every detail. I just wanted to give detail. <laughs> Anyway, so I was walking, I was texting. This was those times where you had like the little flip phones, you Aww. know, the little cute ones, yeah. Mm. And um, so I was texting and like texting back in those days, like you could not do it one-handed. Like you had to kind of yeah. plug in those numbers. Like your thumbs were like, your opposable thumbs yeah. were strong. You had to press like three times just to put yeah. a like full stop. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a fair amount of effort. But behind the shop that I went to, there was like, um, you could, there was a street behind the shop. So main road was in front of the shop, street, like a small street was behind the shop. And like the small street is like one that you should be going fast, but it's got like a little bend. And basically like this car just like comes around and it's like um, driving pretty fast, like, you know, not massively fast, but pretty fast enough so that like I get clipped, slightly go over the bumper, like the bunker, bunker, bumper? Bumper, yeah. Sorry, I don't drive. Wait, on top of the car? <laughs> Yeah, but not the roof. Oh, like no, just, like the, but I'm the hood, also clipped. Hood, I'm yeah. clipped. Like so, like the hood. I'm clipped. Like I kind of like roll a little bit backwards. Yeah. Um. Thank you. <laughs> You're like, what was that? What did that feel like? Pain. <laughs> Danger. <laughs> risk. risk taking. <laughs> Yeah, so I it felt like risk. I'm on the ground. The ice cream and the tea bags for those that are listening are safe. <laughs> <laughs> I, I protect the goods. Um, yeah, and basically, I the guy gets out and he's like, "Shit, like, are you alright? You're right." Like, um, <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I was actually like, "Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Like, really? I'm fine." Yeah, like I, I think it was the adrenaline. I was fine. Um, and did then anyone be- see? Uh, no, like because it was like pretty, like it, it was a quiet street, um, yeah. like super residential, um, opposite a park. So like, yeah. And anyway, like I was just like, honestly, fine. Like I'm, I'm not hurt really. And then I walk home and I walk in the door and my mum is like, you got the tea. <laughs> and I'm like, actually mother, I have just been hit by a car. And she was like, you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> you're joking. What? <laughs> my mum's not that glass region. That sounds more like my grand. But yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, I I went to hospital. I had to, my dad was working the shift. So he had to come back, pick me up, took me to hospital, got a scan. I had slightly fractured, like a couple of fractured ribs, like very, mm. but like fractured ribs, right? Like it's almost like splintering. It's not yeah. like a broken. Um, but still so, really sore. Yeah, yeah, bruised. And then I had um, a like a, I think a, a fractured wrist or like it, my wrist needed like um, splint, a splint. Um, What's a splint? It's like, it's support basically. Like it's not a cast, but it's like something that kind of like restricts the right. movement. So yeah. you can kind of like any dodgy shit going in on the side can like undodgify. Heal, yeah, <laughs> undodgify. <laughs> undodgify. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, yeah. And then also, oh my God, I dislocated my thumb and now I can forever do this. So like pull it out. Oh my God. Oh, sorry. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, like it's yeah. literally now like so loose. You want to see it, it's on our YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't worry, oh I'll give a close up for you viewers. <laughs> Won't forget you. Oh my God, that was quite gross. Yeah, yeah, so like now it's forever like loose, but like um, it was fine. And then basically- <laughs> That's I, your party trick. <laughs> honestly, I, I think it pretty much is. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then I went to school a couple of days after and because I had to take time off, like, um, basically my head of year, Mr. Lumsden, he was like, kind of spoke to me. He was like, shit, like a UK kind of thing, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, fast forward two days and, um, we are in the auditorium doing a road safety meeting. Oh, and I'm sitting there with a fucking splint on my wrist, right? My wrist and everyone looks around and they're like. This is you, cunt. <laughs> That's why you did it. <laughs> 16 and we're yeah. getting pedestrian crossing lessons and everyone's like... Oh my God, Freya, you piece of shit. Freya, you're so fucking dumb. Look left and right, I yeah? I used to hate those like things yeah. in school when they would get everyone in the auditorium and like be like, like just drag on for ages. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was it. And no, everyone knew. That. Everyone was finding it quite funny because they were like, 
well, I mean, fucking like such a cool, like so convenient timing. And they were like, we, we aren't doing this specifically for a person. And I was like <laughs> standing up like, welcome to my seminar on uh, what not to do <laughs> and crossing, and crossing the, road. the road. Did they use you as an example? Like, uh, not uh, for you, we'll that tell would be a personal funny. story. I do now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, like a really sad, like have me walk on to the like stage. Oh, oh Bruce really Dalton. Like, dim they lights. They makeup on yeah, you, like, like make you even really more sad like those puppies they put, like, like a thing on like, your neck adverts, yeah, <laughs> yeah neck walks, a neck cast. like with a like a walking out with zimmer frame <laughs> like <laughs> literally walking out and i'm like i was for 16 <laughs> now i walk like i'm 18 <laughs> no i do i uh yeah i mean maybe i'm like i'm remembering this incorrectly but i do remember there was one comment at least that came from my head of year that was something along the lines of um like you know kind of obviously it's really important um you know prime example Frasier <laughs> <laughs> something along those lines like a little thing and then like a sea of people turning around being like no I'd be rigid. and I was like I just turned around with them I was like who, <laughs> <laughs> who? not me <laughs> surely not me no what happens um later I'm not going to name names no don't <laughs> <laughs> I was about to name a name there, but I'm not going to. I went to a New Year's Eve party um, and I was 17 or 18. I can't remember which. And uh, all of my year, some of the year below, some of the year above, um, all went to this uh, New Year's Eve party. It was really odd, like the shape of the house. It was a very odd setup, like as in um, they had a conservatory, but the way to access that conservatory was like, walking along the side of the house and walking along the side of the house meant like it was right beside like a drop like quite a, a steep drop um and at the bottom of that drop was like concrete slabs with like every like every so often there would be like metal spikes okay yeah I, that sounds dangerous yeah <laughs> or risky <laughs> <laughs> um and i so I'm sure that this is like consistent with everyone else's um, high school experience, but like as a girl, like it was kind of like expected to wear high heels. Um, mm -hmm. I was constantly walking at six foot, if, you know, like actually probably taller. And um, yeah, so I had these quite high heels on. Everyone was like completely rat assed as you are when you're 17. And I was walking along and naturally, I don't really remember it. But interestingly, like, I think this is probably my most, like, near-death experience. Like, my most. Um, because I was walking along and I'll tell you how I remember it. And then I'll tell you the version that then got spread around the school. So how I remember it is I was walking along. It was a with really... With your Zimmer frame. <laughs> with my Zimmer frame and my splints. <laughs> a week later. A week later. <laughs> Yeah, okay. fresh out the auditorium. It was actually a celebration from me <laughs> and my survived. life. Yeah. Um, no, so it was very narrow and I remember walking along and just like quite simply, like pe there was like a flow of traffic like both ways and the flow that I was in was on the outside closest to the drop. And I do just remember like losing my balance. Like people were drunk, like they were kind of pushing into each other as they were like... And I did just like fall and I fell. Um, and like, I don't really, I don't remember the fall. When I remember, look back on it, it's really weird. Like it's as if I've like bird's eye view of it, of like how I would picture it happening. But basically tumbling backwards, fortunately didn't hit a metal spike because everyone was like, if you had hit a metal spike, you would have died. Um, but oh. hit like the edge of a concrete thing, had a huge cut on my head, <gasps> on my like skull. Oh. And then had to get carried up by like four guys of my year, um, blood strong. everywhere, like taken in. I was like fully knocked out and came to oh as I was God. being like carried in. And I came to, I was being carried in. And then like immediately like the ambulance was thrown, but I was completely on my tits. I was like, what are you fucking doing? Like, my dad's a doctor. Like, this is such a waste of time. Like, <laughs> don't waste the ambulance's time. I'm fine. Give me a tea towel and a beer and I'll be good. And like, they were like, no, 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 we need to really like, we, and the, obviously the dad at the party was like, I really don't want a lawsuit. <laughs> so like, we're really going to get you into hospital. And I was like, honestly, I'm fine. Like, I'm just drunk. Like, and <laughs> blood party all, never down, ends. <laughs> all down my face. And I was like, just leave me be. Like, I'll be fine. 
Anyway, so I have to go into the back of the hospital, um, the ambulance. What is so the funny? Back of the hospital. Back of the hospital. I have to go <laughs> in the back. Drunk I have girls. to go in the back. <laughs> <laughs> what is um so funny is I think Brody, the Brody I th- was there. I think Brody was Brody was there, but I think he like pushed I th- you. No, <laughs> it was him. He w- he was actually the one who got hit. <laughs> no, he said. I think the way he tells it, like he he cut himself doing something and he walking the way he describes it is like i was i was like oh man that's so sweet they phoned an ambulance for me he starts walking over to the ambulance he's like oh guys you've obviously overreacted but i'm happy to come with you and meanwhile i'm getting carried out like a, like a body oh my God. and he was like shit it's for freya oh <laughs> shit <laughs> and he's he like i'm so him. sorry I, go, I thought you were here for me <laughs> i have a like, little cut can you get a plaster on paper me cut. thank you so much for coming can you stitch this <laughs> <laughs> then i'm literally carried out pretty oh. much in a body bag like with just my head popping out <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so go to hospital my mum's um, basically have to, like, get my head stitched up. Um, yeah, my friend is so drunk at the time. She's a training to be, a, like, she's applying to medical school. And obviously I'm finding it funny because I think I'm so, like, you had a numb. <laughs> well, that. And yeah. also I'm so numb to, like, medical experiences because my parents, like, I used to, like, go to, like, my parents' hospitals like on days that they couldn't get someone to look after me like I used to go and like sit in my dad's office and stuff so I'm just so numb to like the clinical side of things Mm -hmm. that I was kind of laughing and they had to like shave around the cut and inject me with an anesthetic and my friend who was like she was like filming it like and then (laughs) And then the nurse was like, can you get the camera out of the way? And she was like, mm-hmm, filming it. like, um, And then, yeah, so then I had to get uh, be kept in overnight for observation. Woken up every three hours. I would not recommend it. Um, and then was like pretty much stranded in hospital the next day because it's my mum's birthday on New Year's Day. And oh, I had to phone. Wait, this was a New Year's party. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. What the fuck? What a way to start the New Year. Yeah. Actually, I would argue it's the best way because it really is rock bottom. <laughs> so, like, it only does. It, it really, only gets better. It really does only get better. Um, you almost got impaled. I know. What the hell. I'd probably survive it, knowing my luck. <laughs> Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just Don't give waste me the a ambulance beer. on me. <laughs> I actually I, hate people wasting so the ambulance, often. though. It's like my pet peeve. So, yeah. like, Carla was never wanting to be that dickhead. So, yeah. Um, That's so crazy. Die on the streets. <laughs> Don't waste the ambulance. I've got a story. Mm-hmm. You've just reminded me of one. Um, because it's like in theme with, I think I was like 16 at the time when this happened. And my mom was always really cool about us throwing parties because we at the time had like seven acres of land in Mississippi. So it was just like all woods around us. So every one of my friends, we could have hundreds of people on the property and it would be enough for all their cars and all their, all their people like, do you know what I mean? And we would have like massive bonfires and it was, it was really, really fun. And my mom was always really chill. She'd come and like hang out with us or she would just go and like go to bed and like chill in the house and stuff. And we had a party that I was like kind of throwing and for some reason, I just didn't want to drink, which is weird. Because that's weird. I know. That's why I'm like, sometimes your gut, you have to listen to your gut. I didn't want to drink. And so I kind of had maybe one beer and it was a really, really nice time. And I was the last person to go to sleep. So we had neighbors, but our neighbors were maybe like a half a mile's walk away. Um, and they were young. They were maybe like a couple years older than me and so I I said like yeah like come along his name was like Gordon Mm -hmm. um Gordon who lived down the road our neighbor and he was just like very country really really nice kid and he had brought some of his friends as well um and so I was the last to go to bed like my sister was asleep my mom was asleep and I was kind of like I remember this so vividly because I was just starting to turn out the lights everybody else was like pretty much passed out drunk and I just heard this Boom, 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 on my door. And I was like, oh my God. Like, you know, immediately oh shit God. myself. And I was like, hello. <laughs> Nothing and he to was, see here. I was like, I was like, who who is it? Because we didn't have any way to like look or anything. He was like, Melanie, it's Gordon. Like, it's Gordon. Um, like Sam, Sam, his friend that was with him. He was like, Sam's hurt himself. Um, can you please open the do- open the door? I need to call an ambulance. And I was like, okay. And I opened the door. He's like, he's he cut himself. 
and he was holding Sam up like arm around his shoulder and he had a t-shirt on so Sam had his t-shirt off and he had Gordon was holding a t-shirt onto his chest and he was like look and he pulled the (gasps) t-shirt off and he had a cut from the base of his neck all the way down his chest to his sternum it was like because it's such thin skin it was split completely open like and I could see his fucking bones, his muscles, like everything inside him. It was like, Gordon said, my face just went completely white. Like I just like looked at him and I was like, like that. And then I just, like he said that I just like turned into a robot and I was like, get in the car like that. And I just like, I didn't tell my mom. I didn't tell anyone I was going anywhere. I literally, cause he was like lolling. Like, do you know what I mean? And I fucking grabbed my keys and, like, got both of them in the back. And one of my friends was, like, awake still. So Mm. he jumped in the car as well. Everyone is freaking out. Like, literally everyone. Because he's going into full shock. Like, do you know what I mean? In the back of the car. And we live, like... We couldn't call an ambulance because we live so far out. It takes us, like, an hour to go to the groceries. Like, do you know what I mean? To go and get groceries. So it's, like, a fucking effort. So if we... It would take longer for us to like call an ambulance then drive so I'm like speed fucking racer because I know these roads so well and I'm driving so fast like literally crying my eyes out and he's like going super white and blue and like starting like honestly it was so scary I've never driven so fast in my life but like to be fair I was like the calmest out of everyone I was like he's gonna be fine he's gonna be fine and I like got him there and they said when they got him in the hospital, they said if he was one centimeter, got caught one centimeter lower, it would have hit a main artery to his yeah, heart fuck. and he would have died. He also was going into shock. What so, the fuck? They're like, how did he do yeah, that? Yeah. So, and so when around our property, my mom has these fences like that she put up and because the property is so big, you can't like, she doesn't have like really, it's not like wooden fence and fences. It's like metal with these like, spears like kind of like how you said what were you what did you call them the little sharp yeah pretty much like a metal spear in between each wee like gate bit um or like fence bit and they were drunk and they couldn't see because it was so dark like there's no street lights and they tripped and fell over (gasps) and he had fallen over on top of like the wee spear and it had sliced his chest open he had to get like something like like 30 or like I can't remember numbers but like a shit ton of staples in his chest yeah and they were like if you would have waited he could have died like just from going into like I don't know shock or something like that but it was fucking terrible all while this is happening my mom had heard the car go off and she was calling me like a maniac being like not like leaving me horrific voicemails and stuff being like where the fuck are you and then like I told her everything that happened she was like oh okay, I'll see you when you get home. <laughs> like, yeah. But yeah, honestly, intuition, like if I, I would have, I was the only person who was sober at that house. I was the only person that could have driven him. And why the fuck didn't I drink? Do you know what I mean? Isn't that weird. crazy? It is weird. Yeah. But that That's was like, crazy. That's that was a not an insane story. Yeah. Like, yeah, luckily he was fine. And that's not crazy scar. That's so fucking weird. Yeah, it was horrible. Like, I remember he this went... one time when I got really drunk and I almost fucking died. Yeah, I yeah. literally. Like, what the fuck? I had a friend in Bulgaria who, um, she had similar, like, fencing. Yeah. And, and she would, like, climb over it and then she accidentally got her arm stuck in it. <gasps> and, like, literally it stabbed her, her oh like, my God. muscle. Oh, Oh. And she has like a massive scar as well. Really? Like, Holy shit. Yeah, I think it kind of like, I don't know. Damaged, don't don't yeah. quote me on this, but I think she got like a stutter from it because it gave her oh. like such a shock. Yeah, that's yeah. what I she mean. Had, it like literally like her meat was like hanging out from her arm. No. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like, you know, like yeah. the muscle was actually like hanging out. Yeah. yeah. And oh, then she, know. I remember the teacher in school was like, he did a right. talk in it, didn't he? No, they were like, no, no, no. Fencing. They, they were like, she's coming, she's coming. No, I didn't find out what happened to her, like, for ages. It yeah. was, um, she, they were just like, oh, don't make fun of her. Like, she's got a stutter. Like, oh, they were like, please shame. be really careful. Like, she's got, yeah. And I think that's, that's what kind of caused it. Yeah. Like, shock is, like, crazy. Like, yeah. like, what, like, yeah. 
um, because I thought he was dead, like in the back of the car because he was completely white and blue and because he was literally just in so much shock and pain and like, like, cause imagine looking down and seeing your insides. You cannot, freak out. you can't compute yeah. that. Like, do you I'd know what I mean? No, that's what I mean. It's like, I thought this is it. If I don't get him to the hospital right now, he is going to die in my backseat. Like, I cut my so scary. finger and I was fucking freaking out. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to lose so much blood. <laughs> I'm going to cry. Like, he was like, ambulance for me. <laughs> <I know. Yeah. laughs> ambulance for me. He was like, but, but make sure you hold my hand when I step up because I might pass out. It's so high. <laughs> Yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> Honestly. Honestly. No. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. No, that's awful. Yeah, it's weird. There's actually like, you know, not only is it hard to get through uh systematic like um systemic pr- pr- oppression, but also capitalism, but also fucking fencing. <laughs> you can't get through fencing. Fencing, metal yeah. spikes. Yeah, why are they a thing? <laughs> Who are yeah. we trying to keep out? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. Keep in all the drunk kids. To keep and in, it was like, yeah, that's what I mean. Anything. I don't know. Um, why were, okay, now that I just thought, why were the spike things at the bottom of the. I've honestly, like, I've thought about this quite a bit. I don't know. Because I'm like, why? Thieves. What, what, what are they trying to do? If the thief is already up there, just in case. Like, well, oh, we th- just hope they slip and but fall. It was, like, it, it <laughs> wasn't like. <laughs> We've caught yeah. another one. <laughs> I mean, it, it was literally like, it was like, so I guess like the, what, the only thing it reminds me of is like, you know, when you um, work in a restaurant in a cafe and like you put checks on like one of those like metal spikes. Mm-hmm. It was like a metal, that metal spike. Like no. that, it was like literally just a few of them like dotted across like concrete. It was so weird. Maybe it's for like pigeons or something. Because don't they put that up for birds so they don't shit everywhere? Well, no, because it <laughs> yeah. like it wasn't really that close together. Like it was, yeah. Mm, suspicious. I want to see this. Yeah. I, I need pictures of this. Um, <laughs> Get I our detectives on it. Honestly, yeah, it was so yeah. weird. Yeah. No, I I think I was. Maybe like, it's like decoration. Well, do you know? Do you know as well? Like um, thinking back on this story, is I remember phoning my mum on the way back when a friend was like driving me back from hospital. Um, because hospitals like have really bad cell reception as well. Mm-hmm. Um, excuse me, mobile phone reception. I'm not American. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say like you just farted. Or <laughs> excuse me. I was like, I thought you were gonna no, fart. Don't don't. don't. <laughs> I was like, don't stress. It was just actually I just I just said something in American, so I had to stop there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Rewind. Excuse me. So. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. I'm that. I'm Queen's English. Pardon. 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 I beg my. I beg your pardon. Um. Yeah. No. Also, I don't have a squeaky chair to blame it on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. So net. Yeah. Like I, when I was getting driven back by my friend, um, I phoned my mom and my mother, and uh, she was like. Oh, it's my birthday. Like, have you not... Are you not going to say happy birthday? And I was like, bitch, please. I can't fucking hear you out that side of the ear because my ears caked in blood. And she was like, you got yourself hurt on my birthday. Like, what the fuck? And I was like, yeah, I was actually just fucking dreading another time of you around the sun. And then I decided to impale myself. (laughs) I wanted to steal your thunder. Yeah. Yeah. I actually hate when it's anyone's birthday. (laughs) So 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 don't think that that you're special. Okay, well. (laughs) Yeah, she was like pretty pissed off. Um, I think it was so funny. But also I'd be like pissed off worried. I'd be like, what what were you thinking drinking and being a normal human being? Do you know what's actually really fucking hilarious about the whole thing as well is because my parents at this point had moved on to like, they were away, I think, and I was staying at my grand's in Clackmannanshire and my gran, my dad's side of the family is like super Scottish. Mm. Like she's Braveheart thing. Like she comes from sheep shaggers. The McGregor clan. The she, McGregor. she shags sheep. Does she, does she make potato scones? Yeah. Like, does she, she really? No. no. Oh, I was like, really? I was like, she buys buy them. them. I love them. She <laughs> buys them. But I... she, she probably does not recycle the packaging. <laughs> She's that Scottish. <laughs> um, no, so she... I come in and I'm like, just been dropped off at home. And like, I've got a little patch of like shaved head. Like shaved head, shaved oh hair. And um. 
like matt is blood right <laughs> so and like stupid. mud and like matt is blood and mud and like the like the nurse was so good at um the hospital like she tried to wash like the blood away from Aww. me um but this was like a the biggest fucking mat like because it was just so like it was just so matted because of the mud and the blood and I walk in and my grand's like how was your party and I'm like just kind of slightly turned away and I'm like yeah it was good yeah I'm just gonna go take a nap she didn't have a fucking clue I was there for three days three days with (laughs) three days with what honestly was like a fucking donut of like matted blood and mud on the side of my head and also pretty out of it like I had you some had serious concussion yeah. yeah um partly bald and she had no fucking clue she was like do you fancy a wee chippy tonight dear and I was Aww. like I don't know if I can chew yet um I'll have a soup <laughs> like the whole time and I was like any we, we got any ibuprofen grand and she'd be like I'll just check for you dear are you, have you got a headache period cramps <laughs> and I was like oh no, I've got a huge fucking gash on the side of my face. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd actually have a fucking look done. Yeah. Oh my god, I've got, no, I've got, got seven stitches <laughs> on the side of my head. You really need to change your prescription. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, how funny is that? And she still doesn't know. We, I told my dad to never tell her. Didn't want to get her worried. Didn't want to worry her. I honestly was impressed. Like, you know, that's like the true art of deception. That is like hiding yeah. in plain sight. <laughs> like... Yeah. Speaking of That's not telling crazy. your parents things until they're older or you're older, um, you've got a really unique way of playing hooky at school. Hmm? Hooky? Hooky, like skip in school. Do you not say that? Oh here? my God. What I never know. I hooky, never knew like what hooky skip was. school. Like skiving. Yeah. Yeah, skiving mm. is what, yeah. Ah, uh, yes. Um, I would like to put a disclaimer on this that like, I did not skive school until at least my it started at the end of my fifth year <laughs> um oh so that you would have done all your exams and no stuff, this no? was before my exams and oh, okay. the reason why though because i was like my parents are very like they don't they don't need me to attend school if they know that i'm going to pass my exams and do yeah. well so like it was very much at that time it was like the argument was they're wasting my time in school and I've always been of this, like, attitude. Like, this has even creeped up, like, while I've been doing professional exams. And I'd be like, you're wasting my time and not coming in. <laughs> and they were like, we're paid to le- teach you. And I was like, I'm not fucking paid to learn from you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not paid to learn from you. <laughs> um, but no, so, and my dad was always like, if you think you're going to get more work done at home and if you feel like you know. And he's always been, like, of the, like, the, the camp where he's like, you know what you need to learn more and like what mm. your areas of like, sh- like where you struggle. So um, he had no like issues with me taking time off when I was revising. However, <laughs> that creeped up to my entire sixth year. <laughs> that attitude did not leave. <laughs> um, and it actually got worse. And my dad basically moved down in my sixth year because we were transitioning from Scotland to Brighton and he moved down and um, he had to kind of like, in the way the NHS works is like they advertise for like a consultant in a certain hospital and like as and when that advertisement comes up like you kind of go for it like so my dad went for a hospital near Brighton and he picked that one and like um so he had to move down a lot earlier than we did and uh it was so it was basically me my mum and my brother so basically me and two fucktards um <laughs> <left his comments. laughs> and um my mum like <laughs> You know, she she's a very smart lady. I don't know where it went wrong. Because <laughs> either she was turning a blind eye or, you know, like, she never actually suspected a thing. I don't know. Um, but basically, there would be days where, like, I would just come down the stairs and she'd be like, you not got school today, for It's a Tuesday. And I'd be like, nah, free periods. <laughs> and she'd be like... Fair enough. <laughs> oh, well, that's like, literally what happened to me as well. Mm. Yeah, like my parents Just never loved questioned when you were home. No, but yeah. I mean to the point where like, I don't think my entire education anybody knew what I was doing. I didn't yeah. know I was do- what I was doing. <laughs> well, <either>. like, <laughs> <laughs> I still no, don't know what I'm doing. Nobody knew think, what was happening. I think my dad is on, my dad's on a different like. Yeah. He's a, he he would not have let that like he would not have let that go. That's like, funny because I mean also you got to remember that like my dad was very much like if you need to revise like fair enough but like I don't think that would have cut it in the first term yeah <laughs> when there's no exams 
like the first month. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, like what are you like what are you studying for? And I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> I just like being around. I just home. like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like just, studying. Just like being around you. <laughs> <laughs> and like my mom especially had like she had left the NHS. She was no longer a doctor, so she was training to become a chocolatier at this point. Oh, so sick. she was wow. She what was a change. Oh. I know, so cool. midlife crisis, I've ever heard one. Um, uh. She was she was just bored out of a fucking nut, to be honest. And, like, she just wanted, you know, someone to chat shit with. And I was happy to do that. Oh, that's cute. So she would... But basically, yeah, so I would say, like, oh, should we go to the farm shop, have a little walk, and maybe a coffee and a cake? And she'd be like, <laughs> that sounds lovely. <laughs> <laughs> that's so nice. So we would do that. Usually we'd have a bicker of the way. We'd make up over the cake. <laughs> then we'd come back home. And then my dad would phone and be like, how's your day gone? And I'd be like, class learnt so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, what is so funny, I think, is the point that you're alluding to so kindly, Melanie, is the <laughs> fact that I forged my mum's email. <laughs> so, so, I mean, you know, you don't just decide to not turn up to school. You have to have a plausible reason, right? And um, there was a... There was a there was a hole in the system. I, I spotted a flaw and I I, I went in. Pretty good at that. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> a gap in the market. A gap, a gap in the I... system. Yeah, and I pounced. Um, my mum didn't have a Gmail account. Yes, you know where this is going. <laughs> so, so you made one. I made one. And because she had never made a Gmail account, it was a beautiful Gmail. It was a Suzanne Brannan at gmail.com. It was lovely. Mm. It was like, like so... beep out her last name. Yeah, we might, we might, we might beep out that. Beep! <laughs> yeah, it's just going to be a voiceover of me going, beep! <laughs> I'll clip this in. <laughs> but it was, it was beautiful. And anyway, it was so like, it was so flowing. It was just wonderful. And she, um, oh yeah, I forgot your no names policy. Sorry, I've had two beers. Fuck off. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. Um, we don't care. I yeah. speak about my mum how I want. <laughs> That's fine. You uh, out her, but then I'll everyone else will get her. I'm going to hack into that email. Um, <laughs> us and all of our I, 98 followers. Oh my God, yeah. I'm all 98 and so is my mum. Do you know how many <laughs> fake accounts I've made for you? <laughs> um, no, so basically, yeah, we'll beep it out. Beep it out. Yeah. Beep. <laughs> Um, so yeah, it was her name and at gmail.com. Beautiful. Like, you know, so, so succinct. It was just, it was lovely. And I just was fucking like the first email I sent, you know, straight off the bat were like all of these, welcome to Google mail, welcome to Google mail. And I would like go straight in and I'd be like, email my school. <laughs> and I was like, um, Freya's got a cold or Freya's got gastroenteritis or whatever. Like Freya's got like, um, diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> and like, it was like once a week. Wait, did you skip school once a week? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. But that's, that's not But that's too one bad, thing but, to like just... But that's elaborate. Call up and do your mom's voice or sign for yeah. the signature. Because my mom taught me how to do her signature so that I would have to sign all of the school stuff because she wasn't fucked. So I was like, okay, but... To fucking make an email. Yeah, that's effort. very that's, elaborate. I would yeah, shit that's myself so to do something like elaborate. that. It was a, it was obviously you know it was. It's very clever. It, no, it literally very shows impressed. The and I would I initiative. would wake up in the morning. <laughs> um, I would my mum sometimes Check as well. Check your mum's email. So, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I mean, sometimes my mum would like knock on my door and she would like do uh, hold on. I wonder if I could do this a little go. A little kind of, hello, darling, are you awake? <laughs> I'd be like, come on in. <laughs> and she'd be like, um, I just wondered if you had any free periods today. And I was like, glad you asked. I've got an entire day of them. <laughs> and she'd be like, do you want to go get a coffee and a cake? And I was like, I'll get dressed soon. I'll come down. <laughs> <laughs> just so got, nice. just got, Just got something to do. And mum would be like, okay, I'll see you downstairs for a cup of tea. And I was like, yeah, nice. And then straight off, roll to my side, log into her Gmail. <laughs> <laughs> and they'd be like, Freya's ill. Freya is Freya's fucking got a migraine. It seems at this point she's fucking terminally ill. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're not getting yeah, any better. I know. Week by week, your shit is yeah, getting worse. It was, it was, it was bad. I mean, they all knew. I mean, it was obviously, it was so obvious. But yeah. uh, I mean, so obvious, but they weren't. I mean, how, what, imagine phoning up and like confirming the, the illness. Funny. Like, imagine if my mum actually answered the phone and she was like, yeah, she's fucking dying. Thanks for asking me at the and time. I'm a doctor. Because <laughs> I actually yeah. did sign it off as doctor. Beep, really? beep. 
That's so mm. funny. Doctor beep beep. <laughs> beep. But yeah. did you did you actually have free periods ever? Yeah, like once a week. Once a week, like literally my sixth year, I swear I barely went in at all because yeah. they like the majority of our classes were few. It was like study class, and I was like, I don't fucking study. Like, <laughs> yeah. not because I'm smart. I just yeah. don't like studying. So yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna hang out and watch YouTube I think for or something. Me, I sponsor us. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I've been a loyal customer. Oh my god, yeah. So we've got Since YouTube, we've got Aldi's fake beer. Um what was the other thing we've got as well? Calm. What? Calm. Calm? Calm. 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 Yeah, I was, I was like, like, what? I was saying it like yeah. Calm. I was like, what? Like webcam. Such a stupid <laughs> fucking yeah. Name. Yeah. Calm. 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 Um, calm. With your Eastern European yeah. accent. Yeah. Calm. Um, calm. Calm. Be, be calm, okay? Yeah. I was like the op, like, my mom didn't give a fuck, like, at all. Like, she just, I would be like, mom, I don't want to go to school. She'd be like, yeah. don't go. And I'm like, okay. And then, <laughs> I'll take but, you up on but that. But I was like, see, like, me and my sister used to skip school because she would drive. And, like, because everyone had to drive to school, like, and when you're in high school. Or you had to get the bus, which fucking sucked. It was, like, it was so shit if you had to get the bus. Because it took me an hour after school to get from the bus to my, like, house, basically. Because we would have to drop so many people off in so many spread out houses. Because it's not like everything's condensed or something. Mm. But, um... So we we would skip school. My mom like totally knew about it as well. But see, for me, I was speaking to like my teachers and yeah. being like, look, I'm not going to school or I'm not coming in or something. And they were all really, really nice. Luckily, I had super nice teachers yeah. and they would let me take all my work home and I would do all my work and I would bring it to school. And they were like happy because I was still doing it. Yeah. But it wasn't even halfway through I think it was like either my senior or junior year so like either yeah and they were like you've missed 52 days of school already and they were like we're gonna fail you like they said this to me and my sister and I was like that's like (laughs) two days a week or something like maybe even more and I was like fuck and they were like you're gonna have to do before school detention and after (gasps) school detention for 52 days to make up for it and I was oh like, God. I went every single fucking day. Yeah. And it turns out that I dropped out anyway. Like, so yeah. I was like, yeah, was but I did it. Like, I fuck, I did every single day. And then I realized, I was like, what is the point of this? Like, I could literally just test out and go to uni, mm. like, and start before everyone. Yeah. Like, yeah, school my, is flawed. Like, my sick fear was mm. an absolute shit show. Yeah. Like, it was just, it was, it was a burning train going into a crashing car, um, (laughs) followed by, like, the Atlas Mountains, you know, and a a, a bomb, an atom bomb. Yeah, it was an absolute shit show. Like, it started off bad and it finished worse. Yeah. Because I basically was, like, I... Scottish... The way Scottish systems work is, like, you get used to, I think... I don't know if it's the same anymore, but, like, used to get hires and Mm. based on your hires, which were, like, at the end of your fifth year... Um, you would get accepted and you would either get an unconditional or a conditional into uni. Mm. And I got un- un- unconditional to Edinburgh and I was like, well, fucking might as well stop. As soon as people get unconditional. Well, that's the end of it. Like an unconditional offer. Do you know what that means? No, I have so no idea. You get, you're like, basically, you could literally like, you know, uncon- short of kill someone like you're getting. So you do your exams. So like your hires are your end of high school exams. Mm. And then, so you do like... Um, English, math, whatever. Yeah. And then you basically get your grade. So you get like all A's, for example. Yeah. And then you apply to a university. And then they say, oh, because you got all the grades that we need, you don't need anything else for, yeah. to get in. So basically you're oh, in. We, yeah. we, we're, basically, we're making an offer to come in to this university. Do you not have so like then, GPAs or anything no, like that? No, like, not really. It's like a, I mean, basically sometimes. a collection of all the grades you've made over your entire high school no, life. No, so literally your last, yeah. your last grades... Well, you wouldn't be able to sit those last exams that get you into university if you didn't do all right yeah. in the previous exams. Okay. So you get yeah. tested like right before you go to high school and then you get tested like kind of midway high school and then you get tested at the end of high school. Mm. And then you kind of like kind well, of progress. Yeah. I mean, those. for us, it was like we got kind of tested like every year and that like put us into, I guess, like subsets. Yeah. And then in our third year is when we started doing like O levels, like more effectively, yeah. like the equivalent of your O levels. Yeah. For us, it was like no, 
I can't remember what it was called, like standard grades and standard and grades, media twos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did those and then we did hires mm. in our fifth year. And then our final year was like advanced hires. But yeah. advanced hires you didn't necessarily need because you could get unconditionals based on your hires. Mm. But you could also so confusing. But then also like if you <laughs> yeah. if you huh? didn't get all of the grades that you needed yeah. in in fifth year, you could make up for those grades in, in sixth, sixth year, year and yeah. still go to university. See, that sounds way nicer. Do you guys have, like, ACTs and stuff like that here? Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, yeah, that shit is the most stressful experience, like, ever. What's an AC- what's ACT? Um, an ACT is, like, the measurement of, like, basically how smart you are. Like, it's a standardized testing that you have to take before before going into college or university and it's like i think i was my dumbest at that point yeah if you don't Mm -hmm. if you don't literally make a certain number so like i made like i would have made a 26 but i made a 24 in math and it brought all my like percentages down so they test you in different areas and they it's like the highest you can get now i could be wrong it's either like a 32 or a 34 and like you have to make to get a full scholarship you can if you make above like 27 or 28 again it could be wrong then you get a full scholarship wow. to like loads of different like unis so basically oh, if you're I really fucking smart the american like uni fees yeah. are like up, obscene oh yeah. yeah but like um but i get i used to get test anxiety like not in school as much but like for act and stuff like that when i got older i was better but like imagine like all of your like university shit, like being able to get in rides on taking this one test that you have to pay for. Yeah. So like I, by at this point when I had to take my ACT, I wasn't living at home. Like I was like literally couch surfing on different like friends, like houses and stuff like that. And I had like, I was working full time, paying rent, all these different factors. And then I had to pay to get this ACT test done. But I was living in this like, in my friend's house and she was quite she liked to throw parties and stuff like that and like I can't say anything it's not my house like I'm not like I'm going to the ACT tomorrow bitch please no like yeah (laughs) and so like she throws she throws like a massive party and um and yeah so I wasn't drinking I had like a a red cup in my hand but it was like with water and the police get called because it was a really big party and it was more of like a residential but like you had like an acre of land kind Mm. of property in in america and someone called the police and the police show up and um again i'm the only sober one she is literally so drunk that i'm like you stay here like you know what i mean yeah like she she was so drunk everybody was drunk but i said to everyone because i know i know the law like do you know what i I was like everyone just stay on the property like do you know what i mean Mm. they're not allowed to come on your property like you know unless they have permission and i went up and i was like this is my house like you know because i was like like, the person, like, this is my friend's house, but I live here kind of thing because I was only staying there for, like, a week or something. And the police, and I had a red cup in my hand. I was talking to them. Now, I wasn't acting like I was drunk. Do you know what I mean? Mm. At all. And this is why I do have a wee bit of a chip on my shoulder with the police in America is because I was standing on the grass in her, like, yard. And then he goes, he's standing on the pavement on the road. And he was like, can you come over here and just stand right here for me? And I was like, yeah, yeah, of course. So I go and I walk over next to him. Then he fucking grabs me, grabs me, pulls my arms back behind him. It was like, you're arrested for public indecency for being drunk in public, basically. And I was like, are you fucking kidding? And I was livid because I was like, I've got the ACT tomorrow. Like, I, like I'm like i not drinking. I was like, smell me. Let me take a breathalyzer. And he refused. And he literally like manhandled me, like put me in the back of the car. And oh my God, to be fair, I was like, I was really young and I was just re- like raging at the audacity that he wouldn't even breathalyze me or anything to prove that I was right. So I was fucking raging in the backseat. I was screaming. I was like, you fucking pigs. I was like, fuck you, fuck you, like going nuts. Again, now thinking about it, I didn't really like help myself, but I was just so upset. Like, that's just like, that's a con. Like you have conned yeah. me into getting into trouble. And I wasn't even the one who was drunk. Like everybody else was drunk but me. And then but he, was he a looks, man. yeah, men he, are trash. Men are trash. <laughs> he looks up my inter- information. Cause I think I'd given him my name or something like before. And he was like, I'm going to drop you off by your mom's house. And like me and my mom were not on good terms at this point. Like I wasn't speaking to her, like, because 
like, as I've mentioned in previous episodes, she was very physical in her disciplining growing up. And so that's why I moved out. And, like, literally, I was, like, and then my whole demeanor changed. Like, I was, like, please don't bring me home. Please don't. Like, I don't speak to her. Look, if you bring me home, she's going to beat the fuck out of me. Like, you don't yeah. understand. And, like, by the by the time we had gotten there, because it probably took, like, 30 minutes to get there, you could see I was literally in tears. I was, like, please don't do this. Like, do, yeah. you have no idea what kind of situation you're putting me in. Like, I don't have my car. I can't leave. Like, all these different factors. And then, yeah, like, he was, he looked at me and he was, like, I'm really sorry. Like, and I was, like, you fucking bastard. What dickhead. Yeah, goes and wakes my mom up. She's raging. We get in a fight. And I literally, I'm not even joking, like, I ran out of the house. And, again, we live in the woods, so yeah. I fucking sprint into the woods. She jumps in her car, starts, like, ta- like trying to find me. And I'm just, like, literally dodging in and out of bullets in, like, woods and behind houses and stuff while she's, like, literally trying to find me to, like, bring me back. Because I haven't spoken to her or seen her in ages at this point. And I was like, fuck this. And it was in the middle of the night. It was probably, like, midnight when I first started walking. Keep in mind, I'm, like miles away from my friend's house like fucking miles all my stuff's there my keys are there everything and I like it took me like three and a half hours to walk back to her house in the dark like yeah and I was so scared of getting kidnapped that like anytime her car came by I just like hid like in the ditch like or like I like if a car was coming I would go and like hide behind someone's house or something and then I would like start walking back but yeah crazy yeah but and I fucking miss my ACT yeah, I'd be like, the universe is trying to tell me I shouldn't be fucking taking this exam. Yeah, and I fucking miss every it. every fucking thing that's happening to me is literally leading me towards horrific. not doing it. Yeah. The party, you getting arrested by not even being drunk. I know. And then, and then literally walking back. So why did you miss it? What did you sleep in or something? What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> no, she almost died. <laughs> no, by the time I had gotten there, it was too late. Like, I had literally missed it. Because, like, the ACT, you have to get there at, like, 7 in the morning. Or, like, okay, so maybe I, I, it was, like, actually probably way later than that when I started walking. Um, like, I can't remember times, but by the time I would got there, it was morning. Like, do you know, the sun had oh. come up kind of thing. And because um, maybe, like... The thing with my mom took a wee bit longer and maybe the police didn't show up till maybe one in the morning. I can't really remember times. Fucking hell. But yeah, I fucking missed it. And again, you have to pay for it. So it was like, I literally had to save up to like take it again before I could start uni. And I was like, I was so upset. That's so annoying. Yeah. It was like, I was, I like, I (laughs) learned that law though so fast. It was like, my mom's like biggest thing is like, if you don't know your own rights, that's your fault. Like, you know, like, that's, yeah. like, yeah. So, if Fuck. I would have known, what a bastard, right? Yeah. That's how Fuck police dickhead. be like. We've got too like much that. power. As but well still, as men. how does he yeah. have the right to arrest you for something that but he not didn't even, even do? But the thing is, is because he didn't get in trouble because he didn't actually charge me with anything. Yeah, so they can't prove you. that. Because this is when they barely even had cameras in the car. Like, mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? So, like, they couldn't prove that he arrested me. They couldn't, they wouldn't have been able to prove anything. He just, like, basically, he didn't like my attitude and was like, I'm going to take you home. Little did he know that was not my home. Like, yeah. So like, it was, I was like, after that, I was like, I hate the cops. Keep in mind, my brother's a cop and I don't hate cops. Like, I think there are, like, I've actually had some really good experience with police officers. Like, yeah. And just like some people are assholes, but like, but yeah, but you are in, and you are a public servant in an authoritative, like, is that, is that the right word? And like a place of authority and you are abusing your authority just because you are, you might not like my attitude. You're not following the rules. He never read me my rights. He never breathalyzed me. Like, yeah. Yeah, there was no proof. Yeah. Wow. That's what, yeah. Super stressful. ACTs are stressful. And men are trash. (laughs) Men are trash. (laughs) Some men. Yeah. Um, (laughs) That's funny. (laughs) Yeah. Fuck. Don't really know how to like follow that up to be honest. No, that's I haven't thought about that in a very long time. Like we were just talking about school and stuff, and I was yeah. like, damn, I remember that. Oh Parties. Crooked poli- Crooked. police police policeman as well. That's yeah. fucking annoying. Got um, potentially like a light heart story to Nice. Yeah, nice. Um in my sixth year, you know, that crash crashing shit show. I um got detention for the first time in my entire Oh. I know. Yeah. What did you do? I drew 
profanities on the <laughs> profanities <laughs> on um on um what was apparently the um gymnasium wood that was made into tables. They were like, this was the oldest building in Dollar. And you have just drawn dicks <laughs> all over it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. god. Yeah. Um, you got the tension. Tell tell, tell me more. Well actually the Why? entire the entire year um, so we had a sixth form centre and the entire six like like the entire six, sixth form got um, banned from the centre. Yeah. And like our I mean <laughs> <laughs> I it year group, your fault. it was, it was, it was fully my fault. But what makes me laugh the most is like our year group had a lot of dickheads, right? And like no one suspected me. <laughs> like everyone was like, and like so basically the head of year comes in and he, um, like there's a bit of a hoo ha, right? And like I don't really understand. Like everyone's a bit like oh, and like Chinese whispers goes around like this school so fast, mm-hmm. um, and people are like oh, like the head of year is like not like not happy with us like what's going on kind of Mm. thing and like there was a lot of like stupid shit that went on like I mean like you know we used to have a pill table so like any time that someone lost a like pill like a guy would have to run like the loser would have to run around naked around the sixth form and like so there was a lot of like stupid shit like we yeah it was a lot of really stupid shit that went on and like um I remember this Chinese whispers going around and I was like well I'm I'm, my fucking like I'm clean my hands are clean my hands are clean like I'm you know, I'm like a straight A student. I'm all good. And uh, basically it came out, like he called uh, a year group meeting and he said, he was like, like, I just remember the, like the feeling of the heat coming to my cheeks when he was like, we've gone to the sick from center. And quite frankly, we're like, we're disgusted. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I was like, you men, you never learn. <laughs> and then he was like, at the dicks on the desk. <laughs> He was like, there's someone like the like someone has been drawing like really obscene language and like, you know, like drawing some really explicit imagery. <laughs> By the way, they were just dicks, right? Like, you know, I'm not How I'm many? no <laughs> quite a few. <laughs> but what makes me laugh what the most was the writing. Yeah, what was the writing? <laughs> there was a lot of um like my friend, I w- would say like basically <laughs> Okay, we're obviously going to block out her name. But my friend came back from volunteering in Africa and she comes back and she's like done the dirty, right? For the first time. And not even the dirty, but like a blowjob, right? And like, right. yeah. And I like, I was like genuinely yeah. pissing myself laughing. It was like probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen because she was also like very drunk when she was doing it. So she was finding it hilarious. And um, I wrote basically beep, beep, Love's a good time. Beep, beep. We'll give you a blowjob. Phone beep, beep for a good time. <laughs> and then put down her number. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, and I went, I went pretty hard. In front I, of her. Yeah, she yeah, was. That's yeah, so Obviously, not behind her back. I'm no, not a bitch. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like, <laughs> that's so And funny. she, yeah, she, so she, uh, so basically, like, you know, uh, he basically, so he called this year group meeting and everyone was a bit like, I was a bit like, well, everyone has drawn shit on these desks at some point. So I was like, I'm fine, really. Like, I did get a little bit flushed, but I was like, I'm fine. And then he goes to my friend's class, pulls her out of physics class. Whoa. And it's like, do you, like, did you write this? And she was like, yes, I wrote it about myself. Why would I fucking write it about myself? Yeah. Like, why would I say, like, what, what, what is going on in your mind that think, makes me think that, like, I would, makes you think that I would write it? And he was like, well, do you know who wrote it? And she was like, no, no, no. And to be fair to her, she like absolutely did not rap. That's nice. Yeah. Absolute don. Um, but yeah, basically, like he we were warned that we were effectively, we were losing the sick form center. Um, and we had like a good a couple of months, if not three, left. Um, yeah. yeah. To the end of the year. And like we were losing it until someone came forward and, and took responsibility. And uh <sighs> I had to go to him. You did it. I did it. Well, yeah, because then everyone else loses it and then they'll fucking hit you. Yeah. Did did anyone know that? No. I don't know. But also some, like, some arsehole, like, as in, like, as in my friend, like, one of the friends, like, also did it too. Like, so she did it with me. Albeit, like, she wasn't as, like, 
you know, she wasn't quite as assertive as I was, like, with the language. <laughs> like, I was really to the point. It was, Big sonnets were written. Big slappy blowjobs. <laughs> yeah, she loves slappy blowjobs. She's really good at slappy blowjobs. Like, yeah. And uh, she was like, yeah, 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 I'll come with you. Like, I'll, like, fess up too. And um, she didn't fucking do that, did she, little bitch? I would be like, yeah, I'll meet you there. Well, no, because I, I I ratted her out. I was like, if I'm going down, you're fucking coming down yeah, with me. Yeah, fair enough. So I went and I obviously, like, straight off the bat, like, kind of said to him, I remember it was, it was so awkward because <laughs> I had to walk in and, like, I came in from the back of the classroom and, like, he had his, like, a class and, like, they all left and it was at the end of school and, like... I walk in and I'm like, can I borrow you? And I'm like sweating profusely oh. because this is the first time I've ever got in trouble. Not necessarily like that I didn't deserve it before <laughs> earlier, but like this is the first time it was caught, cool, right? Mm-hmm. And I went up and I was like, um, like, it was me. And he was like, it was you. <laughs> I was like, yeah, it was me. And he was like, I'm just, this is not, this is not in your character. And I was like, I know I'm really disappointed in myself. And he was like, I can't believe you did that. And I was, I can't believe it. I'm a, oh. And I was like, someone's like, someone take over me. And he was like, I'm just so disappointed. And did you do it by yourself? And I was like, no, Beep Beep did it too. <laughs> and, he was, and uh, he was like, oh, well, I'm just girl, like girls. I'm just so disappointed. Like I thought this was boys. And I was like, I know. I know. It was, it was us. Yeah. Women are trash. <laughs> women, women, women are Some trash women. too. Some women. women, women <laughs> yeah, women are trash too. But uh, yeah, so then we had to go. Um, we had to get detention. It was fucking peak. It was so shit. What did you have to do for detention? Sit in a fucking classroom at like yeah. seven a.m. It was so fucking crap. Mm. Well, I wouldn't know. I've never been. <laughs> You've never had detention. No, fucking I fucking told you this already. Okay, Damn. I've. I was a goody two shoes. I think the on, the worst that I've had was. I got sent outside of the classroom because oh I was God. talking too I much. I got sent outside of the classroom yeah, too. Same. I would get shown today. That yeah. was the worst. That I got I shown ever got. my first porn video in the middle of physics class. It was what? fucking ridiculous. Really? What? Yeah. No, that's so sad. I remember the so first sad. time someone put on porn in front of me, and I was it's literally fucking a woman disgusted. squirting. Oh, sorry. What? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what did you say? Yeah. Uh, in fucking physics, it got thrown like. No, shown I for a... real didn't hear what you said. I, oh, it was a woman squirting in the porn. <laughs> yeah, generally, like, I'm sorry, like, it was the, the woman squirting. What yeah. the fuck is this? I didn't yeah. know we could do that. <laughs> Honestly, it was so Only fucked up. Women. You know, like, I barely, like, like, I barely knew I had a vagina at this age, right? Like, and I was, like, showing a woman, like, doing wondrous things with her own. And I was a bit like, what the fuck? And basically, I I'd gagged so confused. pretty violently. Yeah. Um, and then we got all got separated and me and similar like funny enough it was the girl that i was writing like shit about like a couple of years later but we all got separated and uh she was at the back of the class and i just remember i was like we can't talk now so we're gonna have to do something so then i started coming up with like like language through like tapping off my pen and like the, obviously the teacher was like I fucking know what you're doing. Like, <laughs> you think it's like, you, you're like, it was just like funny. And then basically I got sent out. Yeah. Damn. Because I was finding it hilarious. I don't know really. There was no language. Like obviously no one understood what I was like, saying. Like Morse code. Yeah, Morse code. <laughs> Except like didn't understand Morse code. <laughs> so, like, just I tapping. was actually just tapping a pen and found yeah. it fucking hilarious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Get out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was sent out. Get it was out. embarrassing. Because someone like a teacher would pass me, and they were like, "Are you have you have you been naughty?" And I was like, "Yes, I tapped a pen." <laughs> have you been naughty? Have yeah. you been naughty? There's like you know how you we were saying that porn thing. There was two things going around in our school. They were oh, always like, "Have you seen Blue Waffle?" Oh have my god, Blue heard? Waffle! I <laughs> remember that. Blue that Waffle. was like, "Well, have you seen Blue Waffle, Melanie?" No, it's literally like, and then you'd research oh, blue waffle and then it was like a, a moldy vagina or yeah, something yeah so grim yeah wait like, what anatomically yeah, so your like vagina can literally grow really so that's what no I don't even oh. know I don't yeah, remember I think exactly it's, I think it's bollocks like I don't think it's true <laughs> yeah no it was just, it I think it's actually like a, bollocks that get blue mold <laughs> I think it was like a like it's a never happened fo- to me before photoshopped like really yeah. disgusting photo of like a vagina and that was that's like horrible. everyone rumour is that if you haven't seen blue waffle you're the content <laughs> 
<laughs> You're the one who has it. Maybe I am. Yeah. And then there was also <laughs> two the girls. Down from mom to <laughs> <laughs> two girls, one cup. And then no, oh my god, like, yeah, yeah and that then, was horrific. And then you'd like, yeah, mm-hmm. and you would be like, because of the names, they're so like discreet that you're like what do you mean blue waffle like you would never think it's like a sexual thing especially as a child yeah Yeah. and then you research and your innocence is gone immediately and then the two girls one cup cup. like i remember being at a sleepover and then we like all the girls looked it up and we were all like standing there like watching this video of a a, a, a fucking girl like shitting the cup and i was like what the (laughs) fuck is going on no What is this what growing up is like? Is this my porn? Gonna, am I going to have porn? to do that? Is this, is this porn? No. Is this I, should I be aroused right now? No. Is yeah. this what's the do you know what, makes, what like, really strikes me is that, like, actually schools, no matter where you are, like, are pretty fucking uninventive. Like, we all do the same rounds with the same Yeah, that's shit. so true, because that happened whenever I was a teenager, but it was my brother who showed it to me. Oh, I was literally in the kitchen making a tuna sandwich. Oh, no. <laughs> which makes it Can even worse. Tea? Oh, I love tuna, but like not at that point. Because no, you that's you I shit. was like making. He was like, "Huh, look at this video," and I was just making it. And I just look over because the computer was like not far Don't away. Don't make eye contact and with me when I, you're talking about shit. And then I watched. <laughs> and then I watched her gurgle the poop, and oh, I do you know what? It really hits me the back physically of my throat. Me too. Vomited. I because it was like. You, wait, you threw up? I threw mm. up on the kitchen floor. I was like, <laughs> like, because so I was making food. Could have fucking made the sink, yeah? No, 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 I couldn't have. It was like, I couldn't have. It Do was you know, immediately the disgusting. First, <laughs> the first, like, porn experience that I had that I thoroughly enjoyed was Kim Kardashian's sex tape. <gasps> oh my God, that was at another sleepover. Yeah. We were like, we need to look this shit that's, up. That yeah. shit is, like, to see unbelievable. It. Like, I don't understand, like, where the attraction for that, like, Like, voices. why did she become famous? <laughs> it was a pretty good sex tape to be fair was it I've never no, seen I don't know. I mean no, I'm it. like I don't know if that I guess was... because it's just have like, you seen she many was also, sex tapes be, <laughs> so many all the time I could review I them, them. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair like maybe it's because she was like Paris Hilton's like best friend or like PA oh, or I something guess. and then like she was kind of found oh and I guess her dad dirty. was a famous lawyer yeah, yeah and dad. also like OJ killed someone <laughs> and, and OJ was him, yeah yeah, yeah. He well, he he didn't actually go. The gloves person. fit. <laughs> <laughs> they shrunk his hands. Yeah. <laughs> gloves get harder with like leather gloves get harder. Like no, don't rabbit hole. Won't go. Won't go down <laughs> oh, there. Oh no! I watched that documentary and immediately forgot what it was about. <laughs> I literally couldn't tell you the details. Yeah, see, but did he not? He also got like jailed later on because of um, mm. uh, armed His robbery. Book. Oh yeah, yeah. So he ended up serving time yeah. eventually. It's because wait, he knew OG he Simpson it. did yeah. armed robbery. Yeah. Wait, so who was he? Why he was a famous he, yeah. like. Oh, he was a really big footballer, like um, in America. Oh, like, but like football is in like like American, American football. football, like very very. I, I so why did he rob yeah. someone's house? Um, if you're I like don't that, no. He, he said he, it was a dare. I think he said something along the lines of, <laughs> "What's a dare, Melanie? I dare I mean, you to rob someone's house? Like what?" <laughs> yeah, I mean it was fucked up. Like I mean he's what kind of a dare is ca- that? He's about I mean he's case. killed someone, so he's obviously yeah. not right in his head. Yeah, yeah. I mean. He t- Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, allegedly. allegedly. Kill allegedly. someone. Like, you don't want to be sued with yeah. all your ninety-eight followers. <laughs> I know. Almost a hundred. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. So um, close. Followers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. Get us to a hundred. <laughs> On that note, thank you so much for coming. You're so welcome. Yeah, yeah. I just don't want this podcast episode to end. I know, but I also want to have I'm just like downtime. I'm like I'm like literally <laughs> like drink. I could just sit here and talk forever. Yeah. Just being this really is funny. Been really fun. I've laughed Thanks, a guys. lot. I think I mean that was a lot of laughing. Yeah. You my, really my are cheeks funny. actually hurt, like my jaw hurts. Like I'm like guys. <laughs> Stop. No, you're honestly fucking hilarious. Head I think it's starting to get a bit tired. It's going to get a bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're like spot on the sort of humor that I I didn't even realize that I had like a type of humor that I enjoy, mm. which yeah. Melanie told me that I'm like deadpan apparently. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it's all about the delivery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just like You can say anything as long as it's like dead. <laughs> yeah. I really really enjoy your humor. You're really funny. No. And um that was great. <laughs> yeah, I had a wow. great time. Is so, there she... any? <clears throat> is there any words of wisdom 
Or would you like Ooh. to plug yourself? Anything you want the audience to hear before you go? A little piece of a little piece of frail. Yeah, so I'll plug myself. Um, if any of you guys are looking for accounts to be done, um, I work at a big four company, and I'm really looking forward to bringing on clients as a senior associate. I might just make manager next year. So uh, <laughs> yeah, if you're looking for anything to be audited, sustainability <laughs> or otherwise, I'm actually personally moving out of financial audit. I'm actually I'm out of financial audit, but I'd like to bring a client on for financial audit. But uh, yeah, if you know if you're a big company, Shell. We're looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get your sustainability up there. Um, you know, Tesco's or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. Give me a shout. Give her, yeah. give her a shout. <laughs> there you go. Give her a shout. <laughs> you fucking give her a shout. <laughs> um, thank you so much for everyone who's listening. Thank you so much for coming and sharing all the fucking laughs. I've laughed so much. My cheeks genuinely <laughs> hurt so much. Um, if you like this... And you want more, we are on YouTube. You can watch the whole video, see all the different facial expressions that Freya has. It's a huge and, range. Yeah, we're Look all, at her face. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> we're also on Instagram and Facebook as well. No one looking podcast. No one's looking podcast. I mean, I can't no one looking. <laughs> no, ain't nobody looking podcast. Nobody. Maybe you need to change it to like 98 people looking podcast. <laughs> We'll just keep it going up. Um, yeah, we're also on Patreon as well. If you want to hear more uh, extra content, especially from this episode as well, we've got some really good stuff that's on there. It is literally two pounds a month, the price of one coffee shared between me and Mackie. <laughs> And we do this. This is our full time job. So if you would buy us a coffee in real life or a drink or something and watch us share it, then please fucking please support a, us. a new fucking air mattress, please. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> two pounds towards my air mattress because otherwise Freya is going to be you in a hot dog buy bun. Two pounds towards yeah, it, exactly. <laughs> Um, and if you can, um, if you can't afford Patreon and then just like and share this, we appreciate all the listeners or just, or just be here. Yeah, just, just be, be here. here. No, like, thank you thank so you. much for even <laughs> listening, for being yeah. here, for, uh, are you for here? obviously coming back to the podcast. Yeah. You came back, right? So, um, yeah. Thank you for, for being here. Thank you for coming. Yeah, I'm sure so we'll welcome. have you back again for more laughter. Yeah, thank more. you. Um, this will be the start of me taking over this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this will now... Not... Freya's looking. Freya's like... <laughs> <laughs> Renamed, rebranded. Yeah. No, we'll have to Watch score. this space. Because we don't have time, I'll just score this out. Tip and just write your... I, I, I'm a lot top. of tip eggs. <laughs> yeah, in your yeah. time. Watch this space. Freya's looking. Freya's, Freya's looking. <laughs> and um, um yeah so watch out she might be creeping at your window oh fuck off <laughs> <laughs> fuck it out don't creep I stalk <laughs> get it right yeah I don't go out the windows I the, follow the podcast is called Freya is lurking <laughs> yeah <laughs> I love the word lurking. It's so funny. Lurking He's immediately so reminds me of the Grinch. Like, <laughs> to be fair, like, honestly, his shack is a lot more enticing than that room. <laughs> but he is a fucking blown up bed. Hot dog prison. Hot dog prison. Anyway, no well, fucking um... sauce as well. <laughs> <laughs> just a dry bun yeah dry bun one cat me <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> anyway bye <laughs> until next time <laughs> bye next time bye <laughs> <laughs> I'll just do that for a second oh that was so silly that was My really fun my head is so warm <laughs> oh, next time I see you <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> <laughs> that was really fun. Uh, oh, uh, I did something right. Oh my that god, was that sick. was so funny. That was really fun. Do you ever get people that just like don't get your humor? Do you ever get someone? Who... <laughs> she said no. No. Mm-hmm. She goes, Everyone no. laughs. Mm-hmm. It's pretty. It's I mean, pretty, I, I, it's really it like fun. it. It forever amazes me that like. So in my job, (laughs) yeah, forever amazes me. Um, In my job, like there's a lot of people that from like multicultural backgrounds and stuff like that. And like, they're really, yeah. Like I think the hardest thing is kind of like, I guess communicating language and like in a 
jovial like or sense of humor across like mul- like different cultures and yeah my job is like full of like people from different cultures and every one of them finds me funny uh, you know, like, Eastern and Europe, i like, genuinely that's like, like so it's so common in eastern europe like your humor is that, yeah it's well, even like asia like asia 